Hello. Code name? Nightshade. Code name? Beatrice Hotbottom. Nailed it. Yeah, already <laughs> forgot. Welcome to the book coven. And we are uh, we are witches reading books. Uh, we're spy witches. We're now. spy witches reading books. Because it is spy month mm-hmm. of March. Thank you, Al Makatsu, for coming out with a spy novel yes. and giving us this whole thing to dress up as. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we reading this month, Lillian? I mean, um, Beatrice. Beatrice, thank you. Well, now I've been made, so I have to flee the country. You must Thanks. die. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm reading The Athena Protocol. This is <laughs> our second pick for Spy Month. Yep. By Shamim Seraf. It's about a trio of young spies, female spies, who work for this rogue agency that uh, is not involved in any government stuff so and they specifically target like sex criminals sex traffickers which is awesome yes we have a full episode on that one so so good young adult book action heavy and lots of little gadgets yeah which is a classic classic spy like james bond spy yeah but it's all women, women fighting the good girls. fight. Yeah. Fighting the good fight. Our first pick was A Spy in the Struggle by Aya We should have started with that one. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is a time. Um, oh, yeah. It's about a, a woman who is now working for the FBI. She was a lawyer. She goes to this kind of small town where the FBI is like, that's an extremist activist group. Typical. It's just a bunch of kids mm-hmm. um, fighting the good fight and trying to, you know, not let their town go to shit so yeah stick it to the man fuck them weird sex scenes weird that's all i'll say we'll get into that yeah (laughs) um i'm also reading red widow which is our third pick on the katsu's book i do not have it here we had advanced copies digital yeah super spy clandestine (laughs) um that book is about two female cia agents who get Embroiled in a... Is that the right word? Sure. Embroiled. Embroiled. I think that's a food term. They get mixed up in Let's some... Let's em- embroider them. <laughs> some CIA shenanigans. And um, now it's just stuff with the Russians. And the it's usual. all accurate because Alma yeah. worked for a couple agencies for yeah. like 30 years. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Heckin' Spies. Heckin' Spies. I'm also reading, as you can see, I've, I'm well through it by Cute now, book. but Witch Please by Victoria Maxwell. It's adorable. You know what? It so far seems like it's mostly geared towards baby witches because it's a lot of like That's beginner cute. information and stuff. So, so far so good. We'll see how it ends. But Love yeah, it. it's a good, good baby witch book. I'm also reading The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Haro. Um, this book, oh boy. I've been dying to read that yeah. one. It's bigger than I thought it's it would huge. be. It's <laughs> huge. It's huge. Um, it's, uh, three sisters who are witches, mm-hmm. who've been separated for years, who come together in New Salem. Okay. Um, which is being run by Christian fuckery. And, um, they... They just like stumble into each other and stumble into this weird, chaotic, witchy event. Like it seems like the witches are trying to take over the town, but like bad witches. I don't know. Okay. It's crazy. Okay. And I'm also thick. reading another witchy one. You are a goddess by that Sophie looks Bashford. Good. That looks so pretty. this is yeah, this is like nine goddesses that she goes over, like what they stand for, and so far I really like it. Um it talks about how you can kind of use that goddess mm. to like channel power. her to yes. like improve yourself and like get her power within you, you know, spicy cool stuff like that. Spicy. It's leading me to do more spells. Awesome. So. Uh, me too. I've been making so many jars. You can check them out on Thursdays and Sundays, Insta Reels and or TikTok. <laughs> um, I feel we, we're too old to be on TikTok, but whatever. I uninstalled. <laughs> uh, I make all kind. I make um, something to go with the books we read: mm-hmm. jars, oils, whatever. I'm making a midsummer bath bomb that I'm so excited about. That sounds awesome. I made some payment stuff you can mm-hmm. check out. Um, today's a full moon. I think we should do a release ceremony. Mm. when it's nighttime mm. you just write what you want to let go of on bay leaves and burn them and then 
There it goes. I like burning things. Yeah. 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 So we'll set a fire. Yeah. I made a spell jar necklace. Oh, cute. Yeah, I, filmed, I filmed that. That's going to be on the, the Instagram. Maybe I'll put it in here, too. Whatever. And uh, some lip balm. Sexy. Which was like, I, was, I spent so long looking for vegan wax mm. at every store. No one had it. And then online it was like $50. So I just, I. Lame. It doesn't have wax in it. Oh, okay. It's got like shea butter, coconut oil. That's good. As long like as that. it makes your lips feel nice. Smack them. Yeah. Smack them. So we're going to read these books. We're going to do the witch. Yep. Do the witchy stuff. Be witches. And take um, you along. Mm-hmm. We're going to spy on each other, you know. The huge. That's beautiful. I can't shimmy because I threw my neck out. <laughs> and I can't turn left that well. I can't turn left. But in can't turn left. Inside I'm shimmying. You're, you're blue stealing. <laughs> The hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Bye! Ah! I have a daily tarot journal I like to do. I just pull a card. I get my initial thoughts, my interpretation for the day, and it's got a little bit of coloring on it. I can leave a link to it below, but uh, yeah, it's kind of nice and relaxing. I did really enjoy You Are a Goddess. It was a great read, but it, to be honest, it was a little cheesy at some times. I learned a lot about all the goddesses that were involved in it, and I'm going to make different tarot spreads for each one. So this one here is the Lilith tarot spread. So I kind of made it in like the form of her sigil and all the questions for each card represent stuff about her that's in the book, which I think is really cool that I learned enough about the goddesses to do a little tarot spread for them. Do you ever read something that leaves you so shook you just have to lie down and curl into a ball? That's The Once and Future Witches. It started a little slow, but I'm halfway through now and every few pages something insane happens. People are always in danger. I love all the sisters, but they're making terrible decisions. But I want to defend them because they're using cool witchcraft, but like... Damn, girls, chill. I always think one of them's gonna die every other page, and it's, it's crazy. I need to lie down. I can't sit up while I read this book. It's too much, but it's so good, but it hurts, but it's also powerful. And I love witches, and I love women. Read this book. You definitely need to check out our Ostara video where we do the planting ritual for these bad boys because they're so cute and they are growing. I did really enjoy Witch Please, and I've marked a lot of pages that are either like little spells to get back to, little rituals to do, or meditations. So I'm here just kind of skimming through, trying to pick the right meditation for the day. There are a lot to choose from, so it was kind of nice. They're really good, too. Uh, I'm going to actually record myself saying them so that I can listen to it while I do it, rather than reading the full thing ahead of time and trying to remember it while I go. But yeah, definitely worth the read. I do a lot of my reading in the morning with breakfast. Today I'm making this super lazy, super easy breakfast wrap. Just putting in like whatever veggies I have in my fridge because ain't nobody got time for some elaborate breakfast on Monday. Um, first up, I'm reading A Spy in the Struggle for Spy Month. Uh, I don't know about this book, guys. I just don't know. There's a lot of uh, cringy 
romantic. If it didn't have the romance, I think I would be enjoying this book a lot more. But say la vie. P.S. The spot right here by my window is one of my favorite areas to read because of all the sunlight and the, the critters I can watch in the backyard. I hit up my favorite place on earth, Michael's Craft Store, because I've been making a lot of witchy crafts inspired by the books we read. For Red Widow, I'm going to make a candle. So I got some candle supplies. I'm thinking I want it to be strong and sexy and powerful, like the characters in the book. Of course, I can't just go to one area in Michael's. I have to go through the whole store and just touch everything, especially all the flowers and look at all the pretty things and fantasize about just living inside of the store. It's my happy place, especially around Halloween. But the spring, the spring flower section is pretty sweet too. I bought this paint by number because it seemed really calming and soothing to me, which is something that I think all the characters in the Athena pro Protocol needed. Um, they're spies and they're young women and they're fighting sex traffickers, so their lives are wild. And the main character, Jessie in particular, she gets really frustrated and overwhelmed and I haven't painted a paint by number in so long and I forgot how nice it is. It's so silly and calm and I love it. So I'm really excited to see how this bad boy turns out. I'm going to channel Jesse as I'm painting and think calm, positive thoughts and I will keep you guys posted on what this baby turns out to look like. <laughs> 